go to view in terms of is the swimmers. For the swimmers, of course, we're looking at what? What are we looking for on the swimmers? Space where? C7 T1. And so when you do this projection, we can't see that space on the lateral, on the lateral grandy. That is correct. And so with the swimmers, you want to bring one arm up, one arm down. And so that's going to change the position of the two clavicles. One clavicle is going to look different than the other one. And so basically with this one, you definitely need to know the position, know your evaluation criteria, and then uh, be able to identify anatomy. Now I will tell you just as a way, if you don't have enough of the cervical spine, like on here, you got you can see the top, so you can kind of count down as to where it is. But if you didn't have that, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Usually, the elevated clavicle is going to be right around where T1, C7 is, and that can kind of give you a ballpark as to if you don't have the upper cervical spine to make that determination. I know in your book, in the image of senior book and in the PowerPoint, they don't quite have the upper. And so that's your ballpark as to figuring out where it's T7 and C7 and T1 are. The elevated clavicle. So this is your elevated clavicle. That's going to be your elevated clavicle. The non-elevated clavicle is this one. It's coming across here. Those striations, of course, are ribs. Then you may have a little strip going down this way. That's going to be your scapula. Well, this one is not as prominent, but it is. It's going to come across the vertebra on the thoracic spine. And then, of course, you got the airway. You still see your hyoid bone on that one. A little piece of the hyoid on that one. You still see spinous processes. So you still still be able to identify what vertebrae is what on the X-ray. Of course, here's the humeral head here, and then you have, of course, the humerus going up the spine. Put our head on here. Of course, you still see your zygopopoceal joints. You got the scapula back there, the scapula right there. So those would be some of the things you give the name, or should be given the name on the extra. Do we have to identify ribs on that one? Not which ones, no. Okay. You need to know that they are ribs. Okay. All right. And so that'll be our images. Like I said, you're going to have some additional lateral images. But in terms of what you'll see on the test, you're going to see all of these plus some additional laterals that are not textbook.